So you've converted your Bruder D5 dozer and now you want it to work. You want it to move. Well, right now it only moves with the old hands, but that receiver in there and this transmitter will allow you to make it move. So let's turn this guy on. Push down, make sure all these switches are up. So before we get going, we do have to set up our uh, transmitter with our receiver. So you will want to do the binding procedure. Get that done. I name mine Dozer. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. But from here, we'll hit the up, uh, OK button, hold it. And then we'll press down or up to go to the setup. We'll accept that by pressing the OK button. Now, uh, here we will go to the, we will go to our mixes channel. We'll click OK. We're gonna create three mixes, okay? Mix number one is going to be on and the master will be channel three. When we connected this over here, let's just go back for a quick second. So this is what it looks like on the receiver side of things, I have two channels, three channels that are actually being used. Channels three and four are for the tracks and channel two is for the blade. The other one there is for power. Uh, when we flip the switch, it will give power to the receiver. That way everything runs nice and smooth. So we don't have to worry about power going to which location or whatnot. That's how I've got it set up here. So channels three and four are our tracks or the two servos. Uh, so let's go and configure those on the transmitter. Okay, so on the transmitter, we're gonna go and create our mixes. We'll go to the mix, um, hold on. So we'll go to mixes here. Okay, from mixes, enter, and then we're gonna create three mixes. Mix number one is gonna be master channel three slave channel four. We will leave positive and negative mixes at 100%. Okay, uh, and then okay, we can go down here. There's nothing else that we need to do. Then we'll click the up and we'll go to cha uh, mix number two, cha channel four and channel three, so master and slave, and then a positive and negative mix will be negative 100% and negative 100%, okay? Channel three will be off. Uh, we don't need this one. And I think that's it, yep. So just two, I take it back. Only two mixes, right? So uh, mix number two is channel four, channel three. And then if you go back here, it's the other way around. Channel three, channel four. And it's positive 100 here, negative 100 there. That's gonna give you, when you go forward on the stick, both tracks will move forward. Backward on the stick, both will go back. Left will turn and right will turn. And then you can go forward and to the right and it'll go, uh, the, the left track will go faster than the inside track, so it'll turn. And that's how that works. Okay, another thing that I've also done is I've worked on the throttle curve. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit of smoothness so it's not just full power uh, on or off. Typically what you'll want to do is get a motor controller uh, that'll make things smoother but in this case we're using servos so it's a little bit harder to get that smoothness or like when we're doing a slow crawl. So here I've gone to the throttle curve and I've adjusted mine so that it is uh, position one it's 45%, number two is 50, three, 55 and what that does is it says right around the center of the stick when I move it, we're not getting much movement, right? Everything's pretty slow, okay? And then once I get way outside, I'm at full throttle, okay? Okay, so now we've done those two things. We're gonna go into our dual rates. We'll hit okay. Uh, we're not using channel one, so we'll go, uh, we'll go up, there we go, channel two. So the rate is at seven and expose at 80. So what that does is it gives me more finesse of going up and down on the blade. You see the blade doesn't move super fast. If I go back and forth, it's just gonna reduce how fast the blade goes up and down. In a real dozer, it doesn't just go up and down super fast. 
we want to make it more realistic so it moves a lot slower. It takes more input to make this thing go faster. So that's what we've done on the dual rates. Okay, last thing here, reverse. In case you have your motors different than our, so your servos connected differently than mine, maybe your number three is in number four channel and number four channel is number three, or just because the way they're set up, the two servos are pointing in opposite directions, which means one of them is gonna be going the same way as the other, so we might have to reverse one of those so that they both go in the same direction. So you'll go into your reverse channel here. And then because we're only using number three and number four, you might have to either put number three in reverse or number four in reverse. In my case here, I've put number four in reverse because that's how it works here. That's all we have. If you guys think that this helped out, leave a like, leave some comments, and hopefully your build goes as smooth as mine. Guys, if you like this video and you want to learn more about how to do this or just want to get into the hobby in general, let me know by hitting that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and for sure, for sure, hit that notifications tab when you want to see another video because I can't call you and let you know, you'll have to get the notifications. Now let's test out what we've done. Let's throw that forward so we have power. The transmitter says good connection. Now let's turn it. There we go. So, as you can see, if I do the stick here, left and right, forwards, backwards, forwards into the right, left into the right, backwards. Alright. And then our little and then blade down, blade up, blade down, blade up. Oh, one thing. If you want your servo to sit, see how I move it up and it stays down? I go up and it holds its position. You have to take out the potentiometer tab there, remove that, super glue the potentiometer, and then you'll be able to do it just like the real big boys in real life. That'll be a separate video to show you how to do that. If you have that question and want to know how to do it, uh, leave a comment.